All right, defendant, please rise. Will the four-person please stand? Madam Clerk, please uh, take the verdict. Madam Foreperson, the jury has returned as its verdict as to the issues and recommendation as to punishment as to the defendant, Mario McNeil, in file number 09-CRS-66040 as to issue number one, yes, as to issue number two, yes, as to issue number three, yes, as to issue number four, yes. The jury has returned as its recommendation as to the defendant, Mario McNeil, that he be sentenced to death. It's this unanimous recommendation of the jury. So say you all by raising your hand. Court sees 12 hands. Thank you, have a seat. Defense may have a seat. Brad Lockhart, L-O-C-K-H-A-R-T. It's been a, a long road. You know, but at the end of this verdict, nobody's really won here. You know, I can never get your knife back. You have taken that from me. The passage of time, these 43 months, has not healed or diminished this pain, this grief, this hurt that I live with every day. I think about those last seconds and you was the last thing my daughter got to look at. Man, a mockery of this court. Laughing and joking like this is a joke. Shania wasn't a joke. Shania has touched so many people, not just my life, but so many people's out there. And you've tried to destroy it, but her legacy is going to live on. <clears throat> you didn't win. I could be angry and hateful towards you. It's not going to fix this problem. You didn't win. Shania won because she's still going to be speaking out protecting people against people like you. Other little kids. The media's glorified you as you walk in the courtroom with your little antics and your smirks and your smiles, waving your hands around like you're free at last, but well, you ain't free. I'm not gonna worship you, I'm just gonna pray for you. The prisoner Mario Andretti McNeil, having been convicted of murder in the first degree by verdict of the jury, duly returned at the term of Superior Court of Cumberland County, North Carolina, and the jury having unanimously recommended punishment of death, it is therefore ordered and adjudged that the same Mario Andretti McNeil be, and he is hereby sentenced to death, and the Sheriff of Cumberland County, North Carolina, in whose custody the defendant now is, shall forthwith deliver the said prisoner Mario Andretti McNeil to the warden of the state penitentiary at Raleigh, North Carolina, who the warden shall cause the said prisoner, Mario Andretti McNeil, to be put to death as law provided. May God have mercy on your soul. You can have a seat. All right, stand up, Mr. McNeil. You did not have to kill that child. Take him out of here now. And I want to say to Shania's family, I apologize. I apologize for referring to Shania as the victim, for talking about Shania's body. I apologize for you having to go through any of this. I can't give you justice. This jury has given you what we as humans, the best we as humans can do to give you justice. Justice would be if I could reverse all of this, and I can't. 
I've said a prayer for you every night of this trial, and I will continue to do so. Always we're confident in our case, um, but um, you never know what a jury is going to decide, and you certainly have to respect whatever decision they make. Uh, so we're uh, certainly pleased that they made the decision we did, and we just tried to um, you know, stick to the facts and stick to the case that we knew that we wanted to present, uh, and then we felt that the result would be uh, justice in the end, and it was. Sure. Well, both Terry Alford and I are a little bit empty feeling right now. Certainly it's a disappointment. Uh, we talked briefly with uh, Mario McNeil, and we also spoke with his mother, who's a fine lady, and uh, we hurt for her. Uh, as defense lawyers, we can't help but wonder, uh, would it have made a difference if we'd have been able to present the mitigating evidence? You notice we had uh, several rows of witnesses ready to call. We had a mitigation investigator been working on the case to humanize Mario and show the jury uh, his background. But uh, he didn't allow us to put on that evidence. And yet we uh, still have the other case. We'll turn our attention to Antoinette Davis's case now and, uh, and start preparing uh, that case as well. What do you think? When will that begin? Uh, we'll have a sentencing uh, or scheduling conference, I'm sorry, uh, with Judge Ammons probably in the next couple of weeks. And uh, we'll try to set a court date. I think it will certainly be this year. We hope it's sooner rather than later. Um, some cases have had to be rescheduled because of this case and the length and so forth. But I would expect sometime this year, probably late summer into the fall, something like that.